Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how to compare an offline edit to an online conform in Autodesk Smoke. In the post-production industry, it is common practice for a production to be edited on one system and finished on another. Now you can edit and complete your production from scratch in Autodesk Smoke, but this other workflow exists and Smoke is well equipped to deal with this common task. The point of offline to online comparison is to ensure that when the sequences are moved between systems, the editorial structure of the edit is consistent and frame accurate. As you have seen in Smoke, I have a conformed timeline with my high resolution footage, as well as a scaled up QuickTime source clip which was exported from my offline editor. Ideally, we want to compare the two edits for frame accuracy. The first step is to add the offline source clip into the sequence without disturbing the high resolution edit or any layering you may have in the conformed sequence. So for this case, you will rely on a function known as video versioning. Right click on the video tracks and in the contextual pop-up, choose New and Mono Version. The Stereo Version option is used when dealing with 3D stereoscopic sequences. Now this video version is separated from the other video tracks by a small gap as well as its numbering because it will not interfere with the original edit. As a sanity check, the key point to remember here is that the video tracks are for layering and compositing. This is something you would use on a daily basis. Video versions, in this case, are simply used for offline to online comparisons. Now let's add the offline source clip into the sequence. Dragging and dropping it from the media library is the simplest method to do it and I will snap it to the first frame in the sequence. If your source clip has audio, you might want to lock the sequence audio tracks just in case you do not want to overwrite your existing audio in the sequence. So with the concept of video versions in the sequence, another concept called primary and secondary versions also appear. They are small indicators located in the tracks panel of the sequence. P stands for primary and S stands for secondary. In this context, you have multiple versions of the production in this sequence. Version 1 is the high resolution version and version 2 is the offline version. The record viewer always shows the primary version of the sequence. So the P icon in the video track tells you what you are looking at in the viewer. So if you click on the S icon in the other video version, it will switch to a P icon. Now in the record view, you can see the offline footage. Obviously, I'm giving you an expanded explanation, but the short of it is if you navigate around the sequence, you can toggle between the two versions to do a continuity check. To compare each version directly on top of each other, you can use the viewing options to achieve this. Switch into the standard player view. Now click the player options button to reveal a list of available settings. When you choose to show the viewing settings, a new panel will appear next to the player. To the top right of this panel, you will see the comparing modes. So in primary version, you can only see the sequence's primary version in the viewer. Clicking on the drop down menu, you can choose from a variety of comparison modes to do a split screen, blends and difference filter. I'll choose the horizontal split for this example. Straight away, the viewer is giving us a split screen comparison between the two versions in the sequence. By toggling the P icon in the sequence, will flip the views until you get the setting you want. Now you can scroll through the edit and do full frame accurate continuity checks and all your editing tools are still fully functional. 
Once you are done, you can go back to the player options and turn off the viewing settings if you like. So now that your edit is perfectly matched to its offline counterpart, you can now right click on the offline video track and delete the version. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for future videos coming from the Smoke Learning Channel.